Hey guys, what's up? I hope everybody is doing great. I'm just out here early in the morning. I think it's 9 o'clock. And I'm lucky to have the sun. This is what I do every day when I wake up. So typically, what you saw in the previous scene is a typical day for me. So one thing that I have to tell my Ghanaian brothers and sisters is that we have there, there is a six-hour difference, okay? We are behind Ghana six hours, okay? So when it's 6 a.m. in Ghana, I think it's 12 a.m. dawn for me. Sometimes my brothers and sisters think that we, we have the same time, so they call me at any time. And it really disturbs my sleep. Anyway, that is not why we're here. We're here because I just want to talk to you about accommodation when it comes to visitors coming to Canada. All right. I'm a visitor in Canada and I have example and I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm a living example of whatever I want to discuss with you guys today. So when I wake up in the morning, you know, always in my blanket because the weather is a little bit cold here. And I wake up around eight because I'm not working right now. Yes, I'm working because I'm working on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to every day put up a video, a vlog about my life in um Canada and I hope you like it I mean put it up as a comment if you think you want to see more know more about what I do every day in the vlog form whether interviewing people traveling here and there my experiences as a Ghanaian content creator now in Canada for a visit uh, showing you the things that I go through kindly put it up as a comment please let me know if you're okay with this all right so basically my normal days or well, my normal routine is I wake up in the morning. I try to open the window because I need that sun. All right. And then after that, I go try brush my teeth. And I don't really eat in the morning. I walk through the, the living room. And then come and sit out here and just enjoy the sun for a while. You know, I see it on TV where people do sunbathe, right? Especially with um, white people. I see them doing sunbathe where they go lie in the sun and then try to catch the vibe this is what exactly i'm doing here now let's talk about accommodation when you're a traveler you may have a family here who would love to accommodate you you know maybe stay for a week or two that is super fine but remember unlike ghana where people can easily accommodate you for a month two months even a year when I came here, I realized things are not like that. There is more of a nuclear family system, more than the extended. I don't, I don't think even here there's a lot of extended family staying like auntie, uncle, brother, sister, children, niece, like that. Here is, there's more of, you know, nuclear family, wife, husband, children. That is it. That is all that I see here. So it's really difficult for you to bring your burden from somewhere, Africa somewhere, to say that you're coming to stay with someone for, for that long. 
So if you're visiting, you're coming to Canada, I feel you should prepare enough for your own accommodation. That is what I did. I looked into renting a house, you know, for like a few weeks or a month or two. But I realized that there's something they call credits or there's some documents they will ask from you. I remember when I was trying to book, uh, get a place to rent, they asked for whether I have work permit. They asked whether I am working here. What is my monthly income? What is uh, my uh, r reference in, in terms of accommodation or renting place? I'm like, yo, in Ghana, nobody gives up about what you do all they need to know is if you're paying for my rent come and stay in the house and you know i understand because ghana in ghana we pay yearly okay you have to pay for the year so you calculate for the month for, for where i stay in ghana i i live in two places all right where i work um alone that's where i stay alone in south Pond, i pay yearly and i pay about four thousand four thousand three hundred ghana cd a month I think that would be about, I have to put it up, I mean, I'll put it in the description, I have to check. So 4,200 Ghana CD a year for the whole year. That's about $250, approximately, let's say $300, let's say $300, yes. So I pay $300 for the whole year, not a month, the whole year, all right? And then I have to pay for my own electricity bill and then water bill. And then that is it. But here, I realized that before you go to get a place to rent, they are either finished or unfinished. Mostly in Ghana, it is unfinished. It's just empty room. You have to buy your, your, your whatever. You have to buy everything. But here, I realized you could have like a stove, a fridge. You could have washing machine, dryer. You could have, possibly, you may have a bed, but mostly they are unfinished. So you have to come in with all these things. And even that, they want to ask you, what do you do? Um, how much do you earn? Do you have the, the, the status to stay in Canada? I mean, there's a whole lot of documentation they ask for, which is fine with me because this is how they do their, their things here. Now, another thing that I also talk about if you're coming as a visitor is look at Airbnb. That is where I'm living right now. So I stay in an Airbnb and you could get an Airbnb, depending on where you are, where I am, it was around $700 to $1,000, okay, $700 to $1,000, and that includes everything, um, um, I mean, it includes everything, you don't have to bring in it, all you have to bring is your, your bag, now I understand because this is like a business tourism kind of thing, where the, it's like a hotel, you go there, you have everything that you need, the only thing you don't have at the Airbnb side is the food, you need to buy your own food and prepare your own food, at some point, at some places, I know they have people who would come and, you know, cook for you, and maybe they charge you for that, and then maybe laundry, but for where I am, I mean, I have my bed, I have my TV, I have internet, which is number one. I have fridge. I mean, like, I have everything that a common household should have. I mean, a usual household should have. So, in my opinion, when you're traveling to Canada for the first time, even for the second time, you should do more of Airbnb because you don't have to struggle yourself to you know, pay for the place. And and sometimes even the unfinished places, you could get like 700, still 700. So if you can get an unfinished place for rent for 700, $800, and then you could get an Airbnb for maybe a little over 800 $900, I think you should go for that. Because you don't have to worry yourself with, you have to go and buy pan, cooking utensils, and all these stuff. So basically, living in an Airbnb to me is super cool. I mean, I've I've worked, and you know, in the entertainment industry. Before I forget, before I got to Canada, right on the twentieth of September, there was a big event that happened in Cape Coast or in Central Region. I mean, within Ghana. So the Ghana Tourism Authority, within the uh, regions in Ghana, the sixteen regions in Ghana organized 
regional Ghana Tourism Awards regional base. And my organization, my entity, which I created and registered 2020, no, 2013 as Cape 360 Concept, an idea that is basically online to promote everything within my region. We came out to win an award. Yes. Yes, so we won an award for um, tourism, digital tourism icon. Digital tourism icon. Because we were out there always trying to portray the beautiful places in Cape Coast, in Central Region, you could visit. I remember I came up with an idea called Discover Central Region. And when I was roaming within Central Region all by myself, you know, with my team, and there was no support from government. I mean, there is never going to be a support from the government. But they realized the work that we are doing. And we came out, Cape 360 came out to be the digital tourism icon in my region. So if you need to visit Ghana, visit Central Region, just call on me. Yes, I'll be there to guide you, put you through where you have to go, you know, get accommodation and everything for you. So um, I'm just chilling, you know, having a cool day in the sun. I will always talk about the sun because, yes, you would agree with me that from where I'm coming from, the sun is with us 24-7, 24-7. So I'll basically talk about the sun. When I have the sun here, I'll basically talk about it. So. Thank you for checking me out. If you feel this video is relevant, kindly like, share, and comment. And like I asked, do you want me to be coming to you more with, you know, vlogs like this about my stay in Canada? And at one point, I'll be comparing or looking at what we, we do in Ghana and how things are done here. They call it cultural shock, but I will call it adding up to what I know. I had to go do my driver's license. Damn, I had to sit on my ass and learn for like two to three days. If it was on my other side of my beautiful 24-7 sunlight, I just have to pay someone to do it for me without even going through the normal process that I have to go through. But that is another thing for us to talk about. Thank you very much for checking me out. Put up a comment. Peace out.